It's a very good evening from Screams at Thornton Hall Country Farm. Now this is a brand new event and you might be wondering, where's Mike? Wonder no more, he's here. Two in a week. And you also might be wondering, where's Mark? Well that's a good question. There he is. It's like getting the band back together this. Where's Stephen? Uh, he doesn't do Halloween. <laughs> we'll, we'll see him in November. So that, like I say, this is a brand new event for 2024. However, there has been a drive-through Halloween event here during COVID. I did that one and I ended up going the wrong way and ended up in a field full of cows. So hopefully I won't be able to do that tonight on foot because that'd be a bit more scary. Uh, but yeah, are you excited, Mike? Yeah. Good. Looking forward to some more scares tonight. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That's all you're going to give me. Excited, mate? Absolutely. Yeah. Always good to go to a new event because you don't know what to expect from the mazes. Yeah, All agreed. brand new mazes. Don't know where actors are going to be. Don't know where the scares are going to come from. And it's just the excitement of it. It's like, all right, okay, let, let, let's see what it's got to offer. Maze, yeah, I expect to be very good tonight. Yeah, agreed. Um, but, but one of them is just like, they'll get better again because the actors will get used to the spaces later on. So the later we leave it, better it'll be, I think. Yeah, we've, uh, we've had a recommendation to leave it until it gets a little bit darker. So we're gonna soak up the atmosphere first once we get inside and then we'll do the mazes once it gets a little bit darker. We are allowed to film in them in moderation. So it won't be full walkthroughs, but we will be showing some of the scares. There is three mazes and one of them is called Black Market, which we can't film in, but the other two that we can film in, but Black Market is apparently very intense. We'll end up on our own, manhandled, bags on heads, all sorts of stuff like that. So I could see why we won't be filming in that one, but the other two, we'll be filming in those. Very much looking forward to this event. So I just want to say good luck to Tom, Mark, and everyone involved in this brand new event, and make sure you come and support it because these kind of events need their support when they first start out. So uh, let's go. Yeah. Want a little fun? Yeah, good we stuff. We can show you a good time. Excellent. See the size of my mallet? Yeah. Good at using it. Oh, oh, he's excellent. Just checking it's not all the gear and no idea. You'll oh, lead me no, around the back. Not. Oh, I definitely will. You guys see him in the dark, he'll show you what he's doing, wouldn't With you? Me? Because, because um, <laughs> two oh, that's not. Because if I get unleashed, <laughs> Do you want to be unleashed? I'm not. You might do. Street theatre and the live entertainment has been great so far. It's now time to start doing the scare mazes, and we're going to start with Jinxed. Well, that is a great start to the scare mazes here at Screams at Fulton Hall. It was full of great acting, full of surprises, and there were some good set pieces. There was even an old mini in there. I'm sure Mike can tell you exactly what mini it was. But yeah, really, really good start. Considering that that is a brand new maze and the actors will still be getting used to their spaces, getting used to scaring people, they've done an amazing job. We are now going to move on to Malkin Manor which is down the hill again. I'm very much looking forward to it. Let's go. Hey guys, are we the uh, Hunters of the Paranormal? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. us. That sicko up there, that's Edward Malkin. Now he was the head of the family. He ruled it with an iron fist. He controlled every aspect of the family's lives, where they ate what they did, even when they left the house. Until one day, he found out that Isabel, his eldest daughter, had a plan to run off with the stable hand. Oh, shit. Take away! Take away! Take away! Come on! Don't you feel safe, 
Sorry. Leave! Oh. oh, fucking hell. Let's play forever. Oh, fucking hell. What are you doing here? Finding ghosts. You seen any? Well, we've just been in Balkin Manor. Didn't like that house very much, I've got to be honest. It's full of ghostly creatures and a very angry lady who was very, very insistent on cleanliness and godliness. And it was just really scary. There were so many jump scares. I'll tell you what, these mazes, the layout of them is incredible because they disorientate you enough that you just don't know quite where you're going and then bang, they get you from the left or bang, they get you from the right or from both ways, in front, behind and just about everywhere. Absolutely brilliant start to this event. Already, I'm going to say it, you have to do it and we've got company. <laughs> All right, mate. Mike, you can uh, give your reviews I'm on that. I'm less than him. <laughs> well, you normally do. <laughs> One word answers. No, that was uh, that Malkin Manor. That was really good. Um... <laughs> <laughs> got a friend. Go on, carry on. I'm normally all right with someone looking over my shoulder trying to do a review, but uh, this one's a bit creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, and how was it? Yeah, that was really good. Um, lots of uh, dead ends. Yeah. So um, very easy to get lost and then cornered. Yep. So yeah, really enjoyed that. We're going to go and do Black Market, which is meant to be really horrible and there's no cameras. So looking forward to this one. I don't know if that's the right word, but I am looking forward to it. We will be going through alone, bags on heads, pushed around, crouched spaces. It's just going to be every bit of horrible that you can imagine in a scare maze. So we'll go and do that and then we'll let you know how it goes once we've done it and uh, Mike's friend's gone. You're obviously not very good company, mate. <laughs> We're coming to the end of our night here at Screams. It's been great, but firstly, before I do a full wrap up, just to talk about Black Market. Well, it was unhinged. I ended that maze by being tied up with a bag on my head. Had no idea where the actors were gonna come from, had no idea what was gonna do, what was gonna happen at the end, but they've executed that really well. I'm not a fan of having a bag over my head in scare mazes, but the way they did it, it made it a little bit, well, I wouldn't call it enjoyable, because it's certainly not enjoyable, but the way they've done it, it's not one of those, right, I can't find my way, just get this bag off, let's get to the end. It was more, something was actually gonna happen, you were put in a cage, made to wait, tied up. The anxiety levels were off the scale, basically. It was absolutely brutal. Um, there's the bit about, that like Scott said, about walking around a bit, almost felt a bit aimless for to a point, I think they might tone that down once there's more people about because you just sort of found yourself walking into the same people around the same five or six rooms but then getting taken away and bag over the head shoved in a shoved in a room and feeling like just left there for how vulnerable did you feel when you were oh, just very, left very yeah. you're like what's going to happen is the, so, the only thing is that you could tell there was nothing that side of you the only way it was going to come behind you but you can hear stuff happening to other people well, that, I think time. that makes it scarier as well because obviously you're in that cage waiting and then you can hear other people squealing, mm. shouting and it's like, when's it my turn? Yeah, and even the same as once they take you back out, like hands tied up, again, you sort of stood there, you can hear people coming past you and you can hear other people, but you've no, obviously with the bag on the edge, you've no come you've got no context of how long you've been there because it felt i mean i bet it was probably two or three minutes at each point but it felt like 10 minutes so that bag on your head black market what did you think i found it very uncomfortable and i think that's the best way to describe it i don't think it's frightening as such i just feel like you just feel vulnerable yes you don't feel scared it's like what is going to happen here like the first bit, obviously she comes at me and I just felt like, what am I supposed to do in this situation? I just stood <laughs> there and I was in a room on my own and and then you just go looping around. Like Mike said, it's like, I think that went on a little too long. Yeah. I think the door could have opened a lot earlier than it did because it just felt like more and more groups in there and it just started to fill up. So once that came out and then obviously you get the hood over and, I find them very uncomfortable, really, really uncomfortable to like, where you, to the point it's just like, 
and he, and he, uh, and he eat out and he, he start, start of anxiety that you start thinking and thinking I need to get out of here, I need yeah. to get out of here, I need to get out of here and it's just, it, it, it's well done, really is well done anyway, it ties you up there, it's... It, it, this is what you read? Yeah it does. It's I'll say something on that, I think I, the, the longer I went on in there, the more I could feel my breathing, I could yeah. feel my breathing getting more intense, I could feel my heart rate going up the longer I was stood with that hood on. Definitely. It's, it's just like the, the your anxiety levels go up and up and up and up and it's like what is happening to me here what is happening to me here do you start thinking about obviously you know you're in a scare maze but do you start thinking because i did i was like what would i do if this was a real situation because that's where my anxiety kicked in because i was like i'm up against a wall i've got a cage either side of me it's like oh, it's a scare maze so it's meant to be scary but then the, this starts going at 100 miles per hour going, what would you do if this was real? You've watched SAS, who so dares wins too much. I haven't actually. <laughs> but the, thing, the thing is that is just like, is because a lot of times in scur mazes, it's, 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 it's impact scurs. Yeah. Impact scur, impact scur, impact scur. Whereas that is just, that's going into your head. Yeah, it does. And it's, it's that kind of, it's just like a psychological scur rather than a, an impact scur. And it, it just makes you feel like really claustrophobic, really tight. And it's like, I don't know where any of the walls are, I don't know where the actors are. And you just hear people around you like, but well, they could have been like 10 meters away from yeah. behind you, but it just felt so claustrophobic. And it is very, very well done, Maze. Very well done, Maze. What did you think of Malkin Manor? I thought it was fantastic. I honestly, I think it's my favorite Maze here because it, it's a great storyline. And the actors, you know, like, when it's the first night and those actors are nailing when you're going through them through the little corridors and it'd be like bang door open or bang shutter and it's like wow and then it just disorientates you you can see the same actors over and over and over again and it's like we're we going around these circles here <laughs> boy it's just a phenomenal maze the smells in there as well they had the smell pods it was quite it was a real musty smell as though it was it, the, the building had been there for like decades yes and it, it just adds that sense of like i'm in this little creaky old home looking for ghosts yeah and then they just come at you right at the end i, I thought it, it it was brilliant really they think it was brilliant so that's all from us tonight thank you very much to everyone here at this event that has made it an excellent night and we wish you all the best for the remainder of this season and please if you're looking for something to do this halloween season Come and give Screams at Thornton Hall a go because it's absolutely fantastic. Like we say, it's only the first night. It's only going to get better from here and it's already excellent. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. There's a little thumbs up below. Please comment, please subscribe to your experience guide. Many thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.